Hey Rockstar, it's Lidshaw. I'm here at AES New York 2017, and I'm at a pretty interesting booth. This is brand new stuff to me, but I am at the G Audio booth with Carly. Hi, Carly. Hi, everyone. My name is Carly. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Thanks for meeting with us. Um, G Audio is making software that allows you to manipulate sound for virtual reality. So let's just jump in. Carly, tell us what it is that you've got here. Sure. So G Audio is basically a spatial audio company where you can place the three-dimensional data to the audio tracks and they have the positional data to, you know, you can hear sounds from three-dimensional space from above you, behind you, with just regular headphones. So you don't need to purchase any extra expensive hardware or anything, and you will just hear, using the mono, stereo, and basonic signal, you will hear sounds from everywhere, according to your view. So when, in VR, when you're watching content, you can look at different directions, so sound has to adjust to your view. So that's exactly the tools that we're helping the sound engineers to make that happen. Okay, very cool. So, Rockstars, as you know, on our channel, VR is like, it's not exactly, we're not talking about game audio all the time, we're not going into VR stuff, we're doing music in the studio, but to me this is really fascinating because we're entering a new world where if you're making music for video, that video experience is going to be in a VR headset or in whatever comes down the pipe, you know, for VR, where you're able to turn around and see different aspects of a band performing. So for example, I used to do YouTube, um, shows out of my studio called Stereo Sessions and we would have a band come and perform and they would perform their show and we'd shoot it all with iPhones and we'd have to do all this post-production later and I'd mix the audio down to stereo while the band per was performing but what's what I'd like to be able to do in the future is I'd like to be able to set a VR camera in the middle of a band so that the person who's watching can turn around and see the experience right you know right. Um, and then, but also, you know, the big question for me is, well, what do you do with the audio? How do you, how do you do that? So I think you're going to show us how this plugin yeah. will help us start to figure that out, right? Definitely an answer for basically all the audio tracks that you have. You just need to insert our plugin called G Audio Works Slave and Master. So from this window, you, get, you see the video within Pro Tools. So, so that's what's cool about it. Using just the DAW that you have been using. You also have the panoramic view, which is going to give you the 360 video view. So you can move around with right click. So let me ask another dumb question. Instead of looking like this view right here, how, wh how do we do the view that we're used to seeing when we're on our phone and we're kind of moving around it like that? Oh, or is that the wrong kind? This is the view that you will be, it's the same view, but you, if once you watch it with HMD gear, like VR. Right, okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, great. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Yes. So what's cool about it is this one, all the musicians are static. They're just placed in a stay still. But then if there's, if there's any like moving objects, you just need to simply click and drag and drop around the visual objects and then record the movement. All right, so these, we've got all these colored dots. Now, is each one of those a different track, a different sound source, yes. where we can position them where those musicians are? Exactly. Is that what that's all about? Yes, exactly. Uh, so each circle represents mono signal in this case. And if there's a stere uh, stereo channel, it's going to be uh, shown as the rectangle. So left and right, it's going to move together. So you can see, Rockstars, this is a Pro Tools session. Here's all these tracks right here. And then um, I guess we must have the plugin over here uh, that is allowing us to spatialize all this stuff. So like this guy right here, that would be his violin mic is just positioned there so that in the VR headphones when we're facing towards him, we're, we're hearing that sound source. But the stereo is like you can kind of put it on either side of him. So when we're facing that direction, we get like a stereo sound in our headphones. That's really cool. So in an HMD, for example, when you're uh, watching front, violin, viola, for example, you're going to hear it the more louder than anywhere else. Let's say if you're looking at direction, the viola sound will come from the back, depending on where you're looking at. That's really cool. So now, have you guys started to get a feel for what it means to mix music in this new VR kind of world? And, and are, do you have any advice about how people can understand how to think about it a little bit better? So music, uh, 360 music is a little bit different from 360 cinema and uh, games because 
Mostly cinema and games, you just replicate what's real in the real world. Well, how you hear in the real world, you, you bring it to cinema and game. But in the music, it's a bit different because you are providing an experience that's not possible in real life. For example, like this one specifically, you can hear what you're looking at, which you haven't actually experienced. And let's say you're going, you are in a concert and you're looking at a musician, but you still hear the sounds from the speakers, wherever the loudspeakers are located. So now you can actually hear it from front or back or left and right. So that's a different experience which you are you may not be really familiar with because you're not used to that kind of situation. But that actually brings you another, you know, avenue for music creation and consumption experience. Okay, so quick question. Here we're looking at a Pro Tools screen. We've got this plug in up. If we were mixing the music, would we want to have VR goggles and a pair of headphones to work with or would we work from our speakers a lot and then sort of like then move over and check it on the VR? We're just trying to understand this whole new kind of way of thinking about this stuff. Really good question because uh, how we recommend it, you actually use the headphones while mixing and mastering and also monitoring because that's how the end users are going to actually hear it. Yeah, good point. And it can actually prevent any clipping depending on where users are watching. So it really helps to just use headphones phones when you're actually mixing and mastering. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to explain a little bit about how this plugin goes into the Pro Tools session for it to work? Sure, definitely. Uh, so for all the tracks that you want to spatialize, you simply just need to insert our slave plugin. So, but this slave is, has been already inserted. So this is how G Audio works. You can uh, insert it for all the tracks that you want to spatialize. And that's all these. These are all the slave yeah, exactly. plugins on each individual track. Right. And then now, does that send it to this G Audio Master, yes. which like interpolates all that stuff? Yes, and then give you the actual window view. And then you can actually have the uh, um, automation lane here. So is this, are we pulling up our sends so that we can mix in the in the final thing by using those? It, right. Let me go back the master. So now does this mean that we would be doing a lot of our mixing, not by the regular one, two output in Pro Tools, but by these other um, send outputs going to the G Master plugin? Yes, that's correct. And then it really doesn't matter which input signal you use. So what we recommend is using the level ear microphone. You just have the mono signal for all the pinpointed sounds you want to have. And you could potentially use 360 microphone or more correctly, Ambisonics microphone. Right, and I've seen some of those are like there's companies that are creating microphones like that here at ADS. Yes. give you a good ambience of the whole scene because it's a spherical audio format. That's good to have you just in case to give you, you know, some ambience of the scene. Well, that's very cool. Thank you for showing this to us. Again, like my head's spinning with all this new VR possibility around music. It's super cool. Um, let the rock stars know how they can learn more about G-Audio, find you guys online. And is there a way for them to go see what some of these videos look and sound like? Sure, definitely. Uh, visit G-Audio Lab website, geaudiolab.com. You can download the plugin for free. And you can also watch some of the demos as well as the tutorials just from the website. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for being on Recording Studio Rockstars. Rockstars, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and drop a comment in the comment section below and let us know what would you do with your music if you were able to put it into a virtual reality experience. I'm really curious. I think this is a brand new field that is really exciting and I'm, I want to learn more about it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.